Welcome to the world of genetically modified everything we can get our fucking hands on. Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I'm going to read uh, about these genetically modified mosquitoes. This is from the Pack Alert, uh, Pack Alert Press. Do you remember how some scientists, researchers, and individuals like Bill Gates were trying to release genetically modified mosquitoes into the environment? Well, that endeavor isn't quite over. Two towns in northern Australia have been gifted with 10 to 20,000 genetically engineered mosquitoes, almost completely replacing mosquitoes naturally occurring in the outdoors. Good Lord. Uh, although the mosquitoes released are still GM, they aren't exactly the same as the more well-known mosquitoes developed by my Oxetic. Oxetic is a British company responsible for the creation of the genetically engineered mosquitoes containing a gene designed to kill themselves unless given an antibiotic known as tetracycline. The company created this internally manipulated insect to help control agricultural pests and reduce insect-borne disease like dengue fever and malaria. These new mosquitoes released in Australia, however, are developed with a slightly different strategy, a bacterium named Wachbachia pipientis. Uh, infects numerous insect species and harnesses the ability to alter its host reproductive ability. When this happens, the entire populations become infected with, uh, within generations. And when the bacterium infects mosquitoes, the mosquito's ability to pass the dengue fever vanishes. Needless to say, numerous scientists, researchers, and many individuals have expressed concern regarding the release of genetically engineered mosquitoes. The first mosquito released by Oxetic took place in the Cayman Islands in the Caribbean in 2009, only for a second trial to occur in 2010 where 6,000 mosquitoes were released in Malaysia for further experiments. Now 10 to 20,000 mosquitoes were released in Australia, drilling the environment with even more genetically modified creations. As mentioned, many people are not happy about this. Some individuals, such as Daniel Strickman, point out that the obvious discomfort surrounding the possibility that the bacterium could become out of control once released in a way that does not naturally occur in nature. In addition, mosquitoes less susceptible to dengue infection could turn into become more susceptible to other viruses. Unfortunately, no peer-reviewed scientific proof of the safety of such biotechnologies can be offered. Long-term effects have not at all measured, and once these insects are released, they cannot be recalled. Here are a few questions and issues regarding GM mosquitoes, or any GM insect for that matter. Will Oxetic need to acquire the free and informed consent of the residents in Key West for the release of the GM mosquitoes? With the previous release of the mosquitoes in the Cayman Island, there were no public consultation taken on potential risks, and informed consent was not given from the locals. What could happen to the ecosystem to local food chain with the major decrease in the Aedes aegypti mosquito population? Tetracycline, the antibiotic oxetics genetically engineered mosquitoes are supposed to have no contact with is showing up in the environment. With tetracycline being present in the wild, these GE mosquitoes would survive and thrive. Mosquitoes can develop resistance to the lethal gene inputted by oxetic. In fact, 3.5% of the insects survive to adulthood in laboratory tests despite carrying the lethal gene. According to Todd Shelley, in entomologist for the Agricultural Department in Hawaii. 0.5% uh, of the released insects are female, the gender which bites humans. What happens to humans if bitten by the female mosquitoes? Who regulates releases and who will be responsible in the event of complications to any degree? The truth is we have no idea what the future holds for genetic modification and the potential impacts it has on the environment and public health. We know that the genetically engineered mosquitoes are equipped with a lethal gene designed to lower mosquito population, but what does that really mean for humans? We simply do not know the potential outcomes that could arise from such creations. This is fucking ridiculous. When will humans understand that if you did not create the universe, you cannot try to fucking manipulate it? One thing out of place changes everything. We have become vile disgusting, maniacal, insane. And if you think the creator 
of this great universe is going to allow us to continue in our supposed wisdom, you are absolutely wrong. If you can't look around and see the earth is already twisting in agony, tearing itself apart, volcanoes and earthquakes and, and uh, cracks in the earth and people losing their minds. Hell is coming to us and it's because of shit like this. We allow it. We love it. We think we're going to control the world. We're not controlling shit. The only thing we're controlling is sealing our own fate.